glaucoma and it's left untreated, it's very likely that you will experience vision loss and eventual blindness. Fortunately, there are treatments for glaucoma. Your ophthalmologist will monitor your condition and will recommend the best treatment option for you. Sometimes glaucoma can be treated successfully with medications that help to lower the pressure in the eye. In some cases, laser and other surgical procedures may be recommended to help lower the pressure in the eye and prevent further vision loss. Both medications and surgery are designed to do one of two things. One, decrease the amount of fluid production in the eye from the cells that make the fluid, or two, help the fluid flow out of the eye. If your doctor has recommended surgery, you should take as much time as you wish to ask your doctor questions about the procedure. Just remember, as with any surgical procedure, you should have your questions answered before agreeing to have the surgery. Now, let's discuss some of the important things you should understand about glaucoma drainage surgery. The purpose of glaucoma drainage surgery is to help control the pressure in your eye and preserve your vision. If this pressure remains too high, your optic nerve becomes damaged, leading to vision loss and eventual blindness. It's important to remember that you cannot get back any vision you've already lost from glaucoma. Surgery can only help preserve the sight you do have. It will not improve your vision. As with any surgical procedure, there are risks associated with glaucoma drainage surgery. For instance, there is always the possibility that the surgery you have will not help to control your eye pressure. Eye drops or other procedures may be needed. The most common drainage operation is called a trabeculectomy. The surgery is performed in an operating room on an outpatient basis. This procedure allows your ophthalmologist to create a new drainage channel for the eye. The trabeculectomy allows fluid from the eye to flow into a filtering area called a bleb. The bleb is mostly hidden under the eyelid. When successful, this procedure will lower the pressure in your eye, minimizing the risk of vision loss from glaucoma. Some of the risks and complications from trabeculectomy surgery may include failure to control eye pressure with the need for another operation, infection, bleeding, swelling, irritation or discomfort, pressure that is too low, cataract, and decreased or lost vision. You should be aware that complications from surgery can occur days, weeks, months, or even years after the procedure, and they could result in loss of vision or blindness. Careful follow-up is required after surgery. After your eye heals, you'll still need regular eye exams to monitor your pressure and to watch for other eye problems. Certain medications called anti-metabolites were originally developed to help treat some kinds of cancer. These same medications have also been found to be helpful when used with some types of glaucoma surgery. These medicines may be applied to the eye during or after the surgery to reduce the growth of scar tissue, a common cause of failure in glaucoma surgery. Two of these medications, called mitomycin C and 5-fluorouracil, are the most commonly used anti-metabolites for glaucoma surgery. When these anti-metabolites are used with other medications that reduce inflammation, the success rate of surgery is greatly improved, especially for patients who are at high risk for excessive scarring. Your ophthalmologist may consider using these anti-metabolite medicines with your glaucoma surgery if you're having surgery on an eye that has been operated on before, you have inflammation in your eye, you have glaucoma due to new blood vessel formation within the eye, you're having glaucoma and cataract surgery at the same time. You're relatively young, you have more deeply pigmented skin, or your eyes are at risk for post-operative scarring. In addition to the usual complications of glaucoma surgery, other risks associated with using anti-metabolites may include eye pressure that is too low, leaking incisions, slower healing of the cornea, blurred vision, fluid in or behind the retina, thinning of the eye tissues, and infection. If your ophthalmologist has decided to use anti-metabolite medications with your glaucoma surgery, he or she will explain why it's recommended for you. Many eye surgeons use an injection around your eye to anesthetize it for surgery. There are potential complications associated with this anesthesia injection. They include perforation of the eyeball, damage to the optic nerve by the needle, which could destroy vision, interference with blood circulation in the retina, drooping of the eyelid, and certain other effects in your body from the anesthesia medication that could cause life-threatening complications, including breathing problems or low blood pressure. 
Although it's impossible for your doctor to inform you of every potential complication that may occur with surgery for glaucoma, he or she will aim to answer all your questions to your satisfaction. Also, it's important to remember that all of the procedures for glaucoma are preventative. That is, the goal is to try to maintain as much of your vision as possible for as long as possible. While some people may experience side effects from medications or surgery, the risks associated with these side effects should always be balanced with the greater risk of leaving glaucoma untreated and losing your vision.